Well then, uh, I'm going to do exercise number four or handout number two, which relates to the DTFS, the discrete time free series. In exercise four, they ask us to consider the signal XN, which uh, you can see in this um, in this picture. I have copied that over here. Uh, they say the signal is periodic, as you can see that here with period n equal to four. We can see that over here. So if we start in n equal to zero, we can see another zero over here in equal n, in n equal to equal to five. Sorry, in n equal to zero, we start with a one. So the next one that we have is uh, over here in four. So basically, uh, we repeat uh, the signal every uh, every four samples. So one, two, three, and four, we get another one. One, two, three, and four, we get another one. So n clearly, uh, the period of this signal is n equal to four. And they say that the signal, uh, as it is periodical, it can be expressed with the uh, synthesis equation, which is the summatory xdn is the summatory in k from uh, into uh, any period in k. So in this case, they pick from k equal to 0 to 3 uh, of the Fourier coefficients a sub k times e to j k. And the period, which is to be 2 pi divided by 4, 2 pi divided by the period, which is 4n. They say that, as mentioned in the text, the one way to determine the Fourier series coefficients, so one way to get the a sub k, is uh, to treat uh, this equation uh, as a set of four linear equations in the four un unknowns a sub k. Uh, so remember that uh, that's clear. So what we want to find to find the Fourier series of xdn is basically what we need is a sub k. And here we have three un uh, four unknowns, which are a sub 0 to a, a sub 3. But also we have here three, three equations, sorry, four equations, which is x, the values of xdn. Uh, so we have four equations with four unknowns, so we should be able to solve this and get, get the a sub k coefficients. And this is an alternative method to the uh, using the uh, typical uh, formula to get a sub k. So in, uh, in number a, they say that explicitly we write out the four equations and solve them directly using uh, any standard technique for solving four equations in four unknowns. And they say, uh, they say that we have to be sure first to reduce the com complex exponentials to the simplest uh, form. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead. Um, so that's uh, an easy, an easy way, uh, way of doing that. It's just writing down each of these equations. So, for example, uh, x of 0, x, x of 0, so x for n equal to 0 will be uh, if we apply that formula, the summatory from k equal 0 to 3 of a sub k, which are the unknowns, times e to j k 2 pi divided by 4 times n, which in this case is 0. So in this case, uh, this exponential is always uh, e, c, e to 0, which is uh, 1. So in this case, we will have a sub 0 plus a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3. And then we say that this is equal to x uh, on n equal to 0. And if you see in these graphs, when n is equal to 0, xn is 1. So basically, here we have the first equation. So we have a 0 plus a 1 plus a 2 plus a 3 equals to 1. So if we do the same for x, uh, on n equal to 1, we will have the same summatory from k 0 to 3 of the coefficients, the unknown coefficients, e sub k times a e to j k 2 pi divided by 4, in this case times 1. So in this case, we will have 
a sub 1 times e j k e, 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 e zero e zero over here two pi divided by four e, times one plus a two so in this case it's a zero is zero because k is zero in this case is a one time e sorry i keep putting a negative sign when it's a positive sign j k in this case k is one two pi divided by four times uh, n which is uh, one plus a two e j two uh, two pi divided by four times one plus a uh, three e j two two pi divided by four one okay so in this case e to zero is one in this case we will have e to j p half so p half j p half uh, is j in this case we will have j two pi times two four pi divided by four so this is a to j pi so uh, a to j pi is uh, minus one and here the last term will be a to j uh, this is a three okay so this three pi divided by two pi which is minus j so in this case this is uh, goes to a zero plus j a one minus a two minus j a three and this is equal to x in n equal to one so in, in when n is equal to one x the n is zero so we are here the second equation so if you do the same for x n equal to one to two in this case if you do the same exercise you will get the following okay, equation a sub zero uh, minus a sub one plus a sub 2 minus a sub 3 and in this case when n is 2 x uh, the value of x is 2 and the last term which is x in n equal to 3 we have doing the same uh, we will have a 0 minus j a 1 minus a 2 plus j a 3 and this is equal to the value of a in n equal to 3 which is minus 1 okay so what are we having at the end of this process basically we are having 1 2 3 4 equations in 4 unknowns which are a from a sub 0 to a sub 3 and uh, we can solve this so if you use any method you want to solve this basically you get the following result so a sub 0 equals to 1 and a half a sub 1 equals to minus 1 times 1 plus j divided by 4 a sub 2 equals 2 plus 1 and a sub 3 equals to minus 1 minus j divided by 4 okay so this is basically the the values that we are asked so as we have a 0 a 1 a 2 a 3 we have already done the decomposition of xdn in complex exponentials so the discrete time Fourier series and as you can see we did not use uh, the, the equation to calculate the coefficients a sub k at all but we just apply the definition of uh, the, 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 the DTFS and we just solve the, the equation 
So in, in uh, number B, they say that we check our answer by calculating the coefficients a sub k directly, that is, using the Fourier series analysis equation, which is a sub k equal to 1 over n, so in this case 1 over 4, the summatory from n in a period, so from n equal to 0 uh, to n equal to 3, of xn times e minus j k 2 pi divided by the period, which is 4 times n. Okay, that we check the way, calculating uh, the coefficients, the way that we typically do. And uh, that's, uh, well, really, really easy in this case. So this will be 1 over 4, and we give the values to n. So in this case, we will have uh, x uh, in, in uh, equal to 0 to uh, a, an exponential, which in the exponent we have 0. So we'll have the value of x in equal to 0, which is 1 time the value in x equal to 1 times a j uh, minus j uh, k and in this case will be p the exponent uh, minus e to minus j 3 p k divided by 2. This is the result if we apply directly the the uh, see, uh, the analysis equation, okay? So you can see that uh, if you give values to a sub k to this uh, equation, the values that you will get for a sub k are exactly the same uh, that we got by the, let's say, brute force uh, method of solving the differential equation. The, sorry, the, the, the four equations in four unknowns. Okay, so that's it. Um, easy exercise, but it's important because you can see that uh, the, the two methods that you have to calculate uh, the, DT, uh, the DTFS. Okay, thank you for, thanks a lot for, for watching and uh, I hope to see you in the next uh, video. Bye-bye.